We shall speak today in English and we will musing on the heart of dying and what is the meaning of life that we should develop in order to attain a good state after the death. Normally we are not so much aware of the spiritual world, the spiritual side of the manifestation, and we are bounded by the physical senses and by the body just to the material or physical side of the manifestation, but within and behind that level there is many more. and. The dying means especially that our perception changes from a physical to a spiritual one. And so this awakening to a spiritual body and being and organs of perception is most important. And that is the reason why on heart has been for thousands of years the heart of dying, how to develop the spiritual body and the spiritual consciousness in order not to be confused when you go out of the body when you die or you don't get stuck it or imprisoned in the any realms of existence that are in the behind. As a matter of fact Whatever you think and you feel and you do, it has some consequences for your spiritual being and perception and life in the afterlife. And so it is natural that the beings bound to the same creeds and beliefs, they will assemble together in what we can call events or purgatories or health and when they are there it's more difficult to free them from that identifications and we really advance towards the spiritual realm. This spiritual realm is to be achieved by our own inner experience already in life and that is the most inner sense of the art of time. You train yourself to be detached from whatever you are doing and being ready to cross to the other shore of the universe. The Buddhist tradition has this so beautiful mantra that although it is used more in the sense of getting into the illuminated state to the other shore of not being more on art, it is the same almost that we should develop in our art of time. And it prays like that. Get, get, para get, para sen get, body swaha. Get, get, para get, para sen get, body swaha. Get, get, para get, para sen get, body swaha. E podemos ver, and we can see by this image, that uh, the person who has crossed it to the other shore, he has crossed it, really gone behind, and there he attains the body, the buddhi, the state of enlightenment, and he is a victorious one. And so, in our practices also of meditation, we should go within deeper and go behind the thoughts and enter into the unified state of pure intelligence <coughs> where you are just a realm of spiritual awareness 
where you are self-awareness of your being and of your thoughts and you have communion with the light of the divine intelligence. This is symbolized in this photo or image of the bright mountain where light is pouring from the divine cosmos, from the divine being and reaching you. It's called the Imavat and is a painting from Bo in Ra, very famous master and important, not only master of painting but also of spiritual teachings and curiosity. He has also an interesting book on the life after death or behind the death where he speaks also very much on this art in the line of Erasmus of Rotterdam or Emmanuel Swedenborg who have also given very nice and deep understandings and revelations about this art of time. There were in Ra at some points that normally people they don't see so much. Like for example saying that normally when you go out of the body you are not returning to the planet and you will be bound by what you have developed in this life unless in some cases that you die very early or you commit suicide then that you would be so much undeveloped to live the spiritual life that you have come back to another time Anyway, he says that to a person who commits suicide, he can stay for eons of time, for hundreds of years, in the spiritual realms, reconnecting himself to this fullness of being. What is, indeed, a great question to the people who, by philosophical or natural moral and duty, reasons kill themselves. So here we have a point that may be also discussed, but anyway we should take more awareness and share more that view. You have to develop in this life your spiritual organs of perception. That is why you should do every day some meditation and you should really have aspiration to the highest realization that you can do on the earth and that is that God will be born in your deep spirit or in your inner self or within you. That teaching from Boinara is something that we find also in other traditions and the phrase on the Christian tradition May Christ be born within you and Angelo Silesius, we know this evangelical Protestant from the 17th century has said also very well you can commemorate every year the birth of Jesus but until he is born within you he has no faith for you that he has prepared 2000 years ago. Or in the Islamic tradition where you have in your art the Sir He Sir, the secret of the secret. That is the deeper level where you can find your master and you have to be united and related to this master or can be also seen as the Mohammedic light, the Nur of Mohammed or the Nur of Allah. And this means that within your spiritual being, in the innermost of yourself, you have this spiritual presence of God. It's also called it in Indian tradition 
antara yamin that meaning the inner region of yourself and that is the divine being in you and we have to be born to that we have to reconnect and to feel and to see if you do that surely when you will die you will be a light on the other side of existence but if you have not realized it yourself neither attaining this state of union with your god you are without no light for judgment and discernment and you cannot really see where you are walking and so it's much important in this life that you make these connections that you open the channels and you open your spiritual eye in order that when you go out you can have this light and vision and advance towards the masters and the great beings that will help you to go higher in the cosmos so the art of dying in a certain way is mostly a capacity to become more awakened to your spiritual body that is lying within the spiritual manifested body that is the physical and the psychic and from that through feeling and meditating and doing the right things on life living on love for others accepting your work as a creator of good energies for the cosmos and for your afterlife if you are doing this and you at some time you have also as is so much developed in the Indian tradition as the bhakti or vaishnava way or path the bhakti you have also this earning and aspiration and love and devotion to God within you then you can be blessed by these descending blessings and lights and feelings from the spiritual realm and from the divine realm so we have just given this small talk on this morning on that awakening of your own being to your spiritual body and organs of perception and plant the seeds of having more inspiration that uh, the divine being may be born within you the divine being may be born within us and so meditate time to time and to be detached from everything ready to cross to the other side and for that the Pythagorean tradition is very much as in our days of the anthroposophical teachings of Steiner also say it's important that every day at the end of the day make a revision of the day and go from back to the first part of the day and see what you have done and feel and harmonize that and so when you will die you will not get stuck in so much in the dreams and you can have really a more inner concentration and whatever you have to learn you will receive it this combination of active life on love and a state of buddhi or mathematic light or being aware of this unity of the worlds and that what is in the higher is like in the lower that is within is without will give you help to handle all the difficult situations of life and you will tend to see the good in the others and you will see that the evil in most of cases is coming from ignorance from 
different impacts that have traumatized that person and so she is confused, she is out of sight, she is in a, most of the time in a revenge situation and we can see that so much in the Middle East where has been created so much havoc also, so much confusion and chaos by the intervention of the United States and political leaders that don't have at all any wisdom and love, or they have very little. It's a pity that at government level, mankind is still ruled by so superficial and egoistical and imperialistic people. So, our will of redeeming ourselves from ignorance has to be also extended to the society and to the political side and we have to pray that will come one day when politicians will be people who are doing meditation and that have love for all beings or all sentient beings like animals even for trees and nature and will not go so much on bombing, bombing, bombing as the war mongers that are directing mankind are all the time provoking in so subtle ways and manipulated ways where for example BBC British Brainwashing Corporation is one of them but many other medias they are just controlled by the war mongers and by people who want to keep mankind stuck in violence and war so to all that, to change all that you have really to awaken your spiritual being your inner sun your source of light and love that is your spirit and that spirit is coming and is connected with the spirit of God the son of love and that is that awakening that is also the preparation the right preparation but in life to enter into the other side and to give light and love and knowledge whatever place you are in a constant dialogue, a ball, feeling the others in unity, as unity, interconnectedness is really the understanding of science more and more, where your intentions and thoughts are affecting what is seen, and all the time the potential can become action, and this potential is great, is infinite, and there the telepathy happens, and so we should not so be dependent on machines, and we should develop also more the communion of souls and their capacities in order to recreate a beautiful cosmos as is the potential of this planet. So, thanks very much for listening. We have spoken of Erasmus, Swedenborg and mostly on Boira and Art of Time and we have extrapolated in order to have a contextualization of our lives and how we should awaken to light and disperse, dispel the fears and the darkness energies that so much are given to us by television, by information. So you must Awaken more your buddhi, your discernment, your judgment, your unity, where you feel the others by the inner side and you send also the cosmic love to handle cosmic and wisdom to that situation and being. So be in peace, be in love and attain more this universal communion with God and cling to the mountain of Imavat, a spiritual representation of the Himalayas, the place where in the invisible realms the spiritual masters are more and from where the energies of divine being enter more also in the planet and that is also a symbol of your path you go from the mountain of your life cross 
the sea of the doubts, or better to say, the sea of the inertia, the rajas and tamas and sattva gurnas express it here. You see, this one on the watery side, it can be tamas in Indian tradition, meaning the enveloping side of sleeping of inertia. Then you have the thoughts and process of thinking without and also a constructions and then you have that is rajas and then you have the sattva the sattva guna of the holy mountain whiteness and the red golden light enters into your being so meditate on that now a bit can close your eyes and just breathe and inhale as breathing and inhaling are the most important also way of make your mind inward and feel the energies that are entering into you and then your spiritual high began to see the light or even the masters and divine faces and attributes or message from the archetypical world. So we have a nice teaching. Now meditate. Home. Mm-hmm.